with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, getting a head start on spring today, even though it officially arrives in 12 days, at least the calendar version, topping out in the upper 50s to low 60s this afternoon. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, crystal clear skies, dry air, low humidity, rain, sleet, and snow. No, nice and clear and quiet. It'll stay that way right on through the overnight hours. Yes, yeah, spring fever in the air. You know, it's amazing because the normal high temperature for this time of year is 46 and we're well above that at uh, 63 degrees this afternoon. Other locations, upper 40s to lower 60s. New Bedford at 61. Newport made it to 60. Westerly 59. And Block Island at 52 degrees. It'll be cooler tomorrow, but still what I would call a mild and almost spring-like day. Feels more like April around here. Slightly cooler next couple of days, but we're certainly not talking about cold weather. Then we do have a storm system down the road by later in the work week and perhaps even into the weekend, kind of a slow-moving system. We'll talk about that and what it may bring in just a few minutes. Downtown Providence, clear skies, temperature at 46. Winds are light out of the west at 8, and the relative humidity is still rather dry right now at 49%. 43 in Smithfield, mid-40s along the south shore, all the way down through Newport, westerly, and out towards coastal Connecticut and Groton at 47. Satellite and radar composite uh, showing all the clear weather across New England, and it extends back through the Midwest, courtesy of high pressure, fair weather system. Always want to see the letter H nearby and you can see the absence of clouds around the high responsible for the sunshine today. Now we are tracking a cool front which is dropping down from northern New England. It's the leading edge of cooler air, but again, it's really not a winter chill, and while it won't be in the 60s tomorrow, we should have no problem at least getting up into the 50s, so another uh, very comfortable day as we take a peek at the forecast for the uh, overnight hours, late at night, midnight, and beyond. By 5 o'clock in the morning with clear skies, we're looking at a temperature down to about 36 degrees. Bus stop forecast between 7 and 8.30, kids heading out to school, more sunshine at around 37 degrees. Morning commute weather-wise looks fine, dry roads, good visibility, and we've got loads of sunshine for your Tuesday afternoon and temperatures topping out in the lower to middle 50s. Here it is in more detail, city by city and town by town for your Tuesday afternoon and we are looking at temps again lower to mid 50s, plenty of sunshine a west-northwest breeze at around 5 to 10, Block Island at 50, Coventry 52, sunglasses a must at northern part of the state. Now notice across the Cape and the islands, a nice day but a lot cooler in the upper 40s. You can well blame the Atlantic Ocean on that one. Of course the water temperatures are a little chilly. Taunton at 52 degrees. Decent weather on Wednesday. Thursday's kind of the transition day where the clouds start to roll in, but it's dry. Slow moving storm system along the East Coast. Friday, unfortunately, extending into the weekend. We're not talking winter storm or ice or snow. It's, it's much too mild for that. This will be in the form of rain starting on Friday and lasting off and on, unfortunately, through the upcoming weekend. So this weekend, not nice as what we just had. Uh, temperatures then in the upper 40s to low 50s. But uh, weather winning streak continues now through at least Wednesday and even Thursday. Thursday. Not bad, then unfortunately we get wet around here by the end of the week. End of the week doesn't look that great, does it? Better, than, better than snow. That's right.